Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the sine function approximations because in mathematics the sine function approximations are used in modular arithmetics in prime numbers and also in the field of uh, acoustics for the wave analysis. So today we are going to approximate sine function using Taylor series and a new approximation which I call as Vaskara's approximation. The general approximation we can do using Taylor series expansion which is easy and uh, the drawback of Taylor series expansion is that it does not work for higher values of x. But I present here a new method called Bhaskara's approximation. Uh, Bhaskara is one of the greatest mathematicians of India so we are going to use his approximation. So first let's let's go to Taylor series expansion by Taylor series expansion the expansion of sine x is in this format where x is always in radian and uh, let's just check for the smaller values of x whenever x is equal to 0 0.3 we plug in the value of x in here so we get 0 0.3 similarly for if we take or if you want to take more precise uh, value so we can use these two terms so we can use these two terms to get this value which is a bit more accurate than this result so again if you want to take more precise result we can take a lot more terms and find the result which will be more accurate than the previous terms so what actually is the value of sine 0 0.3 is this value uh, which is almost same as this value that we got from Taylor series expansion but the main drawback of Taylor series expansion is that it works only for smaller values of x whenever x is a higher value then we need to find all the other terms in this series so let's see another example let's try for x equals 5 whenever x equals 5 the sine value becomes 5 and we also know that the sine value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 so we are not getting accurate result here and if we take the two terms in this series also we are not getting the desired result and by taking three terms also the result is not good the actual value of sine 5 is minus 0 0.95 and so on so you need to take a lot of terms in Taylor series expansion for higher values of x so the question is, is there some approximation for higher values of x? And the answer is yes, we do have that approximation and it's called the Vaskara's approximation. So according to him, the approximation is almost given by this expression. I'm not going to the derivation of this formula because most mathematicians are also in mysterious conditions in these expression and how did he derived it and it works whenever the x value is within 0 and pi so let's check whenever x is equal to 2 so we plug in 2 in this expression and get this result and what actually the value of sine 2 is almost 0 0.909 and so on so as we see that this approximation is almost near to this result but there is also a drawback for Bhaskara's approximation is that it does not work whenever the value of x is not in between 0 to pi so what if this condition is not satisfied so let's work on another problem let's see whenever x is equal to 5 means it is not in this range so we need to see a curve here so the real sine curve is going in this path shown by the yellow color and the Vaskara's approximation function is going like this. So it is clear from this curve that this approximation, this Vaskara's approximation is only good in 0 to pi range. So you can see almost these two curves are overlapping with each other. So what if we need to find the value for sine 5? For example, we need to find the value of sine 5, which is this value. But if we use Vaskara's approximation, we will get this long value. 
so the main trick here is so if we assume that this point is 0 and this point is pi and this Pascal's approximation holds true for this curve also but in negative direction I mean to say that just see this curve is same as this curve so the main idea is just subtract the previous root or the value where this curve this sine curve intersects at x-axis so I mean to say if you go, are going to find the value of sine x you need to subtract the value of pi from 5 and get the result so what we do is we do sine 5 minus pi and this 5 minus pi is within this range 0 to pi and why do we put here negative sign let's see the figure the Bhaskara approximation is positive in this range but we are going to find the value of these curves or the value of 5 lies in this curve so it must be negative in sign so we put here negative sign and 5 minus pi and get the result and the actual value of sine 5 is almost similar to the actual value that we got from Bhaskara's approximation so what if we need to find for sine 14 let's go back to the curve for sine 14 the value is positive we can see from this curve so to change into Bhaskara's curve what we need to do is we need to subtract this value subtract this root or where the point this sine curve intersects at this x-axis from 14 and get the result so this value if you have some knowledge about sine curve the sine curve always meets the x-axis whenever it's the multiple of pi so it's 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi and 4 pi so to find the value of sine 14 you need to subtract 4 pi from 14 and get the result so we subtract 4 pi from 14 and get the result and we keep positive sign because the sector of the curve lies in the positive direction or in first quadrant so we keep positive sign over there and get the result by simplifying and the actual result is this value which is almost similar to this value this is all about Bhaskara's approximation but this formula seems rather complicated to remember so can we simplify it a little bit more yes we can let's assume that sine function can be represented in this form as an approximation it's not an equal sign but it's approximately equal to this value so we know that sine x is 1 whenever x is equal to 90 or pi by 2 so we put pi by 2 over here and uh, replace x with pi by 2 and get the result of the value of k as 1 minus 4 by pi so after finding the value of k we get the function as this expression its approximate sign so as a result we get this form of simplified version of what uh, we call Bhaskara's approximation and it's simple in the sense that we need to add the reciprocals of the angle and those subtracted from x and it will give the result for sine x the same is for the cosine function also we know that the derivative of sine x with respect to x gives the cosine function so if we take this expression and uh, differentiate it with respect to x then we will certainly get the cosine function we don't get the exact value of cosine but we get the approximation of cosine so at last I want to say those who are working in the modular arithmetic or prime numbers or in sound optics uh, sorry in acoustics or wave analysis this can be a good result for them to analyze so thanks for watching